Okay, so on the last video, we looked at some of the requirements and information about the distribution point. And now it's time for us to take a step further about that and talk about the content library. So a content library is basically the, the, the structure of the file server. So if you think about a normal environment, you copy the file to a file server in a share, uh, uh, let's say a drive. Inside that drive, it will be some, some uh, folders and you copy the file there. Uh, if that the same file is in another location, another folder, you actually have that file using a number of disk, disk space twice, three times, four times, depends on how many times you have copied that file. On Configuration Manager, that's not true. So let me bring here the documentation. And here in the content library in Configuration Manager, it does explain a little bit more about that because we have packages, then we have the content inside the packages, and so on and so forth. But the whole idea, if I scroll down here, there is this image. So the Configuration Manager Content Library Overview. And the whole idea is, if the file does already exist in Configuration Manager, I will not need to copy that file twice. So if you think about content library, it does exist in the site server where we are going to look at. Also, the same folders and structure is copied to the distribution point. If I need to copy the same file twice, it basically means there is not just the disk space, but there is also the network connectivity that needs to happen. If you are looking for a one kilobyte file, not a problem. But if you are looking, for example, a Windows uh, Win file that's about four gig, then this is a lot more disk space and a lot more network. So now, if you think about, okay, it will be almost impossible for me to have three, four different files, uh, the same file in four different places. Now I make, for example, the Microsoft Office 365 or any other version, Windows, uh, the DVD, if you need to support multiple languages, English, Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, whatever, you need to copy that DVD multiple times to the source or the destination. In Configuration Manager, Configuration Manager valid, oh, this file is the same on all those uh, DVDs. I will copy only once. This file has changed because there are a lot of files the allows.exe, they are exactly the same inside the DVD. So Configuration Manager will only copy the files that are actually different. And then it's going to do a mapping. So this package requires this file, this package requires this file, and it will keep track of those files. And if needed, it will then, um, as soon as the client needs, it then will actually give the client all this information so the client can download the files. So if I go here to um, the Configuration Manager server, and I open here the um, eDrive, you can see here we have the SCM content library, and you can see there is data, file, and package lib. So you can see here on file, I have so many folders and each folder will have a number of files. So for example, this file here, it tells me this file is used for this package. This file here is telling me that it's used for this package. So you know exactly what, where the file is being used. And I can easily tell you the file that without actually the, the extension is actually the file I want to use is actually the file. And you can see here I have so many uh, folders already. And for each one of the files, I will have a structure like this. So far, I haven't actually looked at any of the files that will be in a multiple locations. But you can see here, if there is another uh, package, it will have the package ID underneath there and the version as well. We will look at the version at a later stage. And 
You can see here that I installed, or Configuration Manager installed the SCM content library on the E drive. That was where I wanted, because again, remember that we use the no SMS on drive. But I did a video where I didn't actually use the no SMS on drive, so to show you exactly where the files would be. So if I go back here, I have this tool called Content Library Transfer Tool. So if I need to move the content library from one drive to another drive because running out of disk space, I need to do something, I can use this tool. Also, from time to time, as it's IT, so a file will be a ghost file, will be left there without any reference, because let's say configuration manager tried to delete the file, the file was being used by, for example, uh, the antivirus, and it couldn't delete. So there is the cleanup tool that actually allows us to remove those orphan or ghost files from the environment, okay? Saving a, a lot of space. If you think about, we are copying one file, we are copying two files, we will probably not have a, a need to use a cleanup tool. But in an environment where you're probably going to have load, let's say, managing 100,000 machines, where we have 200,000 applications, then this tool will come in handy. And finally, we have the Content Library Explorer. Then we can see exactly the content is on the drive um, and where those things are. So all those tools, they are inside the Configuration Manager. So let me go back to, to the server. On the binaries, actually, where you installed Configuration Manager, in my case here, the D drive, the binaries, Program Files, Configuration Manager, and we have a folder called Tools. And you can see here a subset of all the tools that Configuration Manager use. And here we have server tools. You can see here Content Library Explorer, Content Library Transfer, and there are a few other um, um, tools on this folder. So let me just open the Content Library Explorer. The distribution point. So in my case here, I don't have a distribution point. I would then put the distribution point. So let's try with the site server dot uh, endpoint managers dot com. It tells me, well, if I type properly, so let's type without the FQD, um, SRV003. You can see here that is no, because I don't have a distribution point. But as soon as I have a distribution point, we can actually um, uh, use that too. Uh, if I open the command prompt and go to the same, I will run as administrator, and I go to the same location here, I can use the second tool that is the content library transfer. Content library transfer. I will not use. But you can see here that I can actually start then running the two. There are some parameters. Um, and if you go back here to the documentation, uh, transfer to, you can see here how to use source drive, target drive, quite simple, from E to G. And then the two will actually tell you everything that is required to do. Oh, the two will basically do everything for you. Okay, so I hope this, this video was informative, give you a lot of information on how to actually treat the SS, SSM content library. If you like the, the video, remember to like the video, share with your friends, co work so everyone knows more about Configuration Manager. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, click that little bell icon and you will be notified when we upload new content. Normally it's every week. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. And remember, leave your comments and questions on the comment section below. If you have questions, remember to use the hashtag AskRafael so it's easy for me to find. On the next video, we will be then preparing the new server, server 04, for the distribution point. Hope to see you there. Take care.